Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about Anthrax. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button, and you will get link of Hindi lecture. Or you can directly visit to channel My Student Support System. So, what is Anthrax? Anthrax is an acute bacterial disease that is uh, mainly affects skin, but it may involve the oropharynx, mediastinum. or intestinal tract causative agent anthrax is caused by a gram positive encapsulated spore forming non motile rod shaped bacteria here you can see and name is bacillus anthracis so we can say that anthrax is caused by bacillus anthracis mode of transmission how it spreads person to person transmission is very rare anthrax is mainly a disease of herbivores humans and carnivore are incidental host it is an occupational hazard primarily of workers who handle the bones and bone products and wool agriculture and wildlife workers who handle the infected animals means close contact with the infected animals leads to transmission of anthrax animal shed the bacilli in terminal hemorrhage or blood at death and this blood contains this uh, bacilli or bacteria on exposure to air vegetative cells produce spores which remain viable in the contaminated soil for years dormant anthrax spores may be passively redistributed in the soil and adjacent vegetation or plants through the action of water wind or other environmental forces what are the clinical manifestations of anthrax itching of the exposed skin surface occur first followed by a lesion formation and that initially becomes a papular then vesicular and after 2 to 6 days there will be a depressed black scar formation moderate to severe and very extensive edema is also seen that usually surrounds the scar pain is unusual and if present it is due to edema and secondary infection obstructive airway disease due to uh, associated edema may complicate the cutaneous anthrax of the face and neck untreated infections may spread to regional lymph nodes and blood through blood stream with overwhelming septicemia in the whole circulatory system or blood the meninges can become infected or involved leading to meningitis like sign and symptoms untreated cutaneous anthrax has a case fatality rate between 5 to 20% initial symptoms of inhalation anthrax are mild and non specific that may include fever malaise mild cough and chest pain acute symptoms of respiratory distress and then it may lead to death intestinal anthrax is very rare and present with or shows the signs and symptom of abdominal distress followed by fever signs of septicemia and death in typical cases diagnostic investigations laboratory confirmation is done through the demonstration of the causative organism in blood lesions or discharge by direct polychrome methylene blue stained smears 
and by cultures. What is the treatment? The standard treatment for anthrax is an antibiotic such as ciprofloxacin, doxycycline or levofloxacin. The length of the treatment depends on how the patient was infected, means mode of transmission, age and overall health of the patient. Some cases of anthrax are treated with surgical removal of infected tissue. How we can prevent anthrax? Health education is the primary measure by which we can prevent. Provide health education to employees who handle potentially contaminated articles about the mode of anthrax transmission, care of skin abrasions and personal cleanliness. Control dust and properly ventilate the work areas in the hazardous industries especially those who are handling the raw animal material such as bone or skin. Maintain continuing medical supervision of the employees and provide prompt medical care of all suspected skin lesions. Workers must wear protective clothing, adequate facilities for washing and changing clothes after work must be provided in these industries. Vaporized formaldehyde is used for disinfection of the workplace contaminated with bacillus anthracis and thoroughly wash and disinfect or sterilize the hair, wool, bone, meal or other feed of the animal origin uh, prior to the processing. If anthrax infected animal dies, the preferred disposal technique is incineration at the site. But if it is not possible, then the um, animal, dead animal is transported to the plant or factories where it can be incinerated and care should be taken that no contamination occur en route to the plant because anthrax spores may survive for years if the carcasses or dead animal is buried. Inform animal handlers that they should immunize and annually re-immunize all the domestic animals which are at risk. Treat symptomatic animals with penicillin or tetracyclines. Immunize them after cessation of the treatment. These animals should not be used for food until a few months have passed after the treatment. Thank you students for watching this video. You can subscribe the channel for latest updates. You can like Facebook page. And for making your notes, you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.